Hey, I'm the Trace, Southern Belle, born and raised in San Antonio, Texas. Trace Hood, it's all good. I can describe myself as a Southern Belle, like a Southern charm, with a twist of like East Coast demeanor and swag. I kind of like. Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Boy, you should have known by now. Easy does, easy does, easy does. It's Power 51, home of the Breakfast Club. Angie Martinez, not hip hop and RB. It's your main man, M Easy. This is the Sunday sit down. And this afternoon, across from me is sitting Trees. Correct? I, correct. I, I, I pronounced that correctly? That's correct. It's the girl Trace in the building. Now, you are a rapper, correct? Yes, I am. But where else would people recognize you from? They will recognize me from modeling and couples therapy, VH1. Yes. Yes. How, 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 first of all, let's talk about the mixtape, because apparently you've you got a mixtape coming out soon. When is that dropping? It should be out in two weeks. Dope, dope, dope. Now, wh who, what's, wh who's on the mixtape? It's my mixtape. It's produced by a producer called T. Berry out of Houston, um, Music World Studio, mm -hmm. and it's hosted by DJ Rhea. Are you from so, Texas? I'm born and raised in San Antonio. Texas, moved to Houston, then moved to New York. Mm, got you. So now, explain to me the whole couples reality situation that happened. Couples therapy, excuse me. How did how did that come about? Um, I've been knowing ghosts for eight years. Mm -hmm. So um, we used to date, and he asked me to come on the show, and I was like, yeah, I'll go on the show. So you know, what happened on the show is what happened. We actually broke up on the show, and since then we're cool. Like. That was my next he's question. My How was the relationship with him now? Oh, we we're cool. Like that's he's like my mentor in the rap game. Like it was no hard feelings, you know. Mm. Okay. All right. Now it says here that did you used to play basketball? Yes, do, I do did. Do you still play basketball? I'm still nice. Of <laughs> I, I, I asked you, if you were nice. I said, do you still play? I'm still nice. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. This is, this is like a recurring. Still theme get buckets. Here. <laughs> a recurring theme here. Everyone that sits in that seat think they nice. I still drop dimes. Okay. So, so what made what made you drop your basketball career? Because it said you played overseas in Germany professionally. Um, I never really dropped it. It's just that I fell in love with the music. Like, I still play. I still play in West Forth um, with Janice, and I play in like urban leagues year mm. round. Sometimes here and there. Um, it's just that it wasn't for me professionally. Some people like chase a dream till they're like 30, 35, 40. Mm -hmm. For me, God opened up a lot of other doors, such as modeling, music, and TV. So I kind of went in that lane. So tell me the modeling experience. How, how'd that come about? Beautiful young, young lady as yourself. How'd that come Thank about? Thank you. The modeling experience came from Jet Magazine. I started out with Jet, um, Tarot Flag in Houston, Texas. We did Texas Beauty's calendar like three years in a row, the most beautiful woman in Texas. I also did um, Dwayne Darden's Summer Bunnies. Mm. And then I nice. also, I did a lot of promotional modeling gigs and stuff. So from there I ended up doing music and TV. So it was no longevity in that for me. I felt like music was more my thing. I took a like into that and I have a passion for music now. So that's my focus. Give me some of your music, uh, your rap influences. Ooh, my rap influences, there's so many. That's a UGK, Scarface, that had to come Bumby, VX, I mean, then you got the Lauryn Hills, of course. Give me um, some of the ladies you listened to back in the day. Um, of course, I listened to The Brat, I listened mm -hmm. to TLC, I listened to MC Light, I listened to everybody. And how do you feel yeah. about the, the landscape of rap? for women now with, with Young M.A. and Nicki Minaj and ladies of that ilk? I think the rap game is wide open for the ladies right now. I feel like it's so many men and the lane is wide open for women like to rise up in that area. So that's just how I feel about it right now. <laughs> Shout to the strong ladies out shit. It's a Sunday sit down with Jermaine, man, and easy. It says here that you used to work for Jordan Brand. Was that during your basketball days? No, me and my DJ actually like we. Shout to DJ Rhea. What's up? DJ How you doing? We went to um, LA and I worked the clinic with her out in LA and that's where she got the name Rough Riding Rhea and I got the name Turned Up Trees. Rough, <laughs> rough, 
riding. Triple R. Triple R. <laughs> triple R. Uh, 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 uh. It's Sunday. This is a Sunday <laughs> show. You know what I'm saying? I said it. All right. Um. So how did you how did you meet Ghostface? Um. I met Ghostface out in Houston, and this was like oof, years ago. Like I said, about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And we. Was it Sparks right away? Was it Sparks right away? And for him, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. See now, now I gotta ask, what's that supposed to mean? You know, you know. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Please fill me in. Fill me in. How? Um. For him, it was he like he like Texas women. Like, well, he like this Texas woman. I should say he loves this Texas woman. So, the, you know. Describe a Texas woman. A Texas woman. Because they say it's always bigger in Texas, right? That's what they say. <laughs> Southern women, look at me like we're stand up. Come on, right? Stand up. Stand up. Come on. You gotta stand up. There you go. There you go. There you go. Face high. I see you, God. No doubt. <laughs> It's the Sunday sit down with your main man. And it's all real. It's all natural. No that surgeons. was my next question. She took no surgeons. <laughs> and she played Team basketball. Team no surgeons. <laughs> she was in that outfit. She would play ball, too. Can I get some bars? Can you get some bars? Yes, sir. I mean, I'm waiting. I mean, your DJ said yes. Does that, does that mean you're going to give me some bars or your DJ going to give me some bars? <sighs> hmm. I can give you some bars. Here we go, Trees. This Sunday <laughs> sit down. It. This Sunday no sit down. Music. Amp her up, Rhea. Come on, let's go. No music. <laughs> no music. Go ahead. Boss chick live the jet life, getting money Gucci seats in the S type. Fresh shop the lot. What's the set price? Red carpet for the president's ex-wife. Call me Miss Obama, counting plenty commas. Fuck dinner, I'm about to buy Benny Hanna's. Young prima donna, everything Prada. Presidential suites up in the Ramada. A catch me in a mansion up in the Hamptons. You broke chicks hating while we advancing. A steamer in my glass, feeling like a champion. Stepping out fresh stilettos by K Hampton. I live a life that you dream of living. Look me in my eyes. Can't you tell I'm winning? Panoramic view with the room spinning. And I'm on top of the world where you chicks sitting. And okay. Okay. <laughs> Dory, we like that one. No, no, no. Trees in the building. Shout out to Texas. Trees is in the building. The Sunday sit down with your name, man. Easy. So give Let's me some go. of the part. Let's get it. Give me some of the current artists you're listening to now. I listen to everybody. Who's giving? Who's inspiring you? Don't tell me everybody. Whew, Jeezy. Jeezy? <laughs> you made it, dude. Oh, yes, it go, oh, it go crazy. <laughs> How to young Jeezy. All right, now, can we get Jeezy personal? Are you single? I'm sorry. I am. Yes. Why is that? I am. Um, I'm focused on my career right now. It's very generic. That was a very um, generic answer, but I appreciate that. And these niggas in New York ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> you want to really be honest? <laughs> I'm from here, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Uh, I can't, I can't let that go down. Right? So, so why New York niggas ain't shit? Tell me this. Why? He from Brooklyn. He has some feelings. Uh, why New York niggas ain't shit? Man, well, who hurt I, you? I thought I can come from Texas, and you know, I don't know. Who, who was the fast talking nigga from Brooklyn that got you for what you got? Nobody, doing? nobody, nobody. It's just a different breed up here, man. So, okay, what's the difference between a guy from Brooklyn and a guy from uh, Texas? Oof. First of all, Texas men, they they like settle down. Like they take care of their home, you know, up here it's like whew, Yo, God, no, no, you it's like ten to one. You're not gonna do Twenty it. to one. <laughs> it's like dating DMX, right? Girl, what you gonna do? You wanna go out to eat? Like I was like, so aggressive. I'm like, can you just relax? Like What's up, Ma? Oh, hi. Hello. You know, like Listen. Just be a, it's, 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 it's an the, the city is a little aggressive. Yeah, you like what you like, get what you want. No. Yeah, don't settle, ladies. Never settle in life. Get what you want. That's right. You know, you're not leaving until I figure out why New York niggas are more not shit than anybody else. Like, what's going on here? Huh? This is bad. Man, y'all a different breed. That's all I'm going to say now. There's some good men out here. I'm not going to front. I'm just saying, like, I have met some scumbags. <laughs> Who hurt you, huh? What did he do? 
Nah, it's cool. It's cool. I want to know who this guy is. Man. Like, why you hurt her feelings like that? <laughs> is the Sunday sit down? Uh, it's, oh, that's why. Ghostface is the reason it's going. Oh, damn. Please, please, no. Please, no. Damn, that's, that's family. That's family right there. Nah, nah, nah. That's my people's right there. That's my mentor. I told you. Like, he's, he's good. We good. We good. Don't let couples therapy fool you. <laughs> we needed a little therapy, but we all right. So, so God, let's let's talk about the couples therapy. How did how did you feel when you found out, or did you know before going on the show about his girlfriend or the other? I, no, I didn't know. I didn't know. Mm -mm. I felt, of course, I felt the way I left. You didn't see me after that. Yeah, I'm saying, but how <laughs> how, how did that make you feel inside? Like, what was 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 it an anger situation, or were you like, damn, these New York niggas ain't shit anyway? Um. Uh, Another one bites the dust. Damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, lost one, you know, keep it moving. Right? Lost one day some more. <laughs> I'm really, I really, really like this. Give me your comments. It's a Sunday sit down. I still love y'all. I still love you. M Easy Trees is in the building. <laughs> okay, all right, no doubt, no doubt. Next right, question. We talk about that. <laughs> Let's talk basketball. Um, did you see the WNBA finals that just wrapped up a little while ago? Yes, I did. You're a fan of the WNBA? I am a fan of the WNBA. Favorite team? Um, I'm grooming my nieces to go that path right now, so of course I'm a fan, you know? I gotta stay in that world. Okay, see, I'm gonna ask another question. Oh. <laughs> my nieces is nice. They get it from their aunt, you know? <laughs> you know what? You know what? <laughs> I mean, and they 6'2", so, you know? Really? Really. They a problem. Dope. Okay, so what about the NBA? You watching the NBA? Of course. Who you like in the NBA this season? Uh, who's winning? Who's winning it all? I'm from San Antonio, so you know we got chips in San Antonio. Can't even dispute that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Pop. <laughs> boring ass Tim Duncan in them back. and then they got it's another okay. boring ass thing in Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> she. That's where I'm from, though. So, they look you know. good this year, though. That's I mean, they beat, they beat the That's Warriors for a game in the season. They look, they look good every And they year. actually look more excited. I was like, you know, the ball, like the, even though the ball moves quick, they just look like more excitement on they that team. They need to get some young players in there with some mm. excitement. So would you do more reality TV shows? Of course. So you're, you're not sour about the experience you had with uh, Couples Therapy? No, no. Shout out to Sudi, the executive producer. I love her. Like, that's, you know, that was a great experience. I'm not going to downplay the experience I had, you know, and that's what's most important in life. You know, your experiences shape who you are. So, you know, I would definitely do another reality show. I'll probably even do my own. There you go. Shout out to Ghost. Let's get the show going, baby. <laughs> you heard it here. It's the Sunday sit down with Jermaine, man. I'm easy, Trish in the building. Uh, any final words you want to tell the audience? Um, I just want you guys to look out for my mixtape. It's called Married to Money, and my name is Tree. So download that on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon. Download that. Two weeks. Oh, it's coming in two weeks. Yeah. Got you. We will be looking out for it. Trees in the building. Shout out to DJ Rhea too. Up, Thank you guys. Thank you for having us. Married we'll to the money. <laughs>